Leo Bretholtz lived to be 93 years old, but the Holocaust survivor died over the weekend, right before he was set to testify in front of the Maryland House of Delegates. ABC 2 News' Cheryl Connor explains the bill Leo was championing and how others are now stepping up to continue his mission. We have memories that haunt us and will haunt us to our dying day. It is history that brings Rosette Adler Goldstein to Annapolis and family. She points out her father's name, David Adler, in a book that lists other passengers on a train to his death. 1942 is like yesterday. I didn't believe that he would not come back. And I never said goodbye. She was four years old, and she still carries that child inside. Adler Goldstein survived the Holocaust, and she is seeking some justice for victims. The train company, SNCF, that took her dad to his death, is part of a plan to expand Metro with the Purple Line. Before that happens, a bill in Annapolis would require the company and others involved in transporting victims to concentration camps to pay survivors. They were paid per person, per kilometer for the transportation of human beings. They should at least pay now. Their sadness runs deeper today. A group of supporters is carrying the legacy of 93-year-old Leo Bretholz, who died two days before he was set to testify. From Baltimore, Bretholz worked to honor 76,000 Jews who were killed. Leo worked so hard to get justice for our grandparents, our parents, our siblings, the 11,000 children who were crammed in those SNCF trains. The president of SNCF also also had a chance in front of the House Ways and Means Committee saying they were under Nazi command. We were a cog in this enormous extermination machine, this Nazi extermination machine. Of course, we have acknowledged we were a cog and, and we have expressed very sincere regrets. The plea from supporters is to move fast. Leo Bretholz is yet another Maryland survivor to die before getting what he considered proper justice. In Annapolis, Cheryl Connor, ABC2 News.